Alright, welcome to the first ever recording for Resident Evil 2, the remake. Oof. I'm gonna need some new underwear. I'm gonna shit my pants away. I'm gonna shit my pants throughout this game. Um, get the voice language in English, display language English, subtitles are on, headphones, and real time. Okay, cool. Uh, I've never played any of the Resident Evils. I've seen like the first or second film. Um, uh, I've heard good things about it, but uh, I don't know. I just wasn't really into like zombie, the zombie games and stuff like that when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I've heard a lot of good things, like I said. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Pretty excited. Max brightness. Until the pattern is just barely visible. Oh, okay, I was like, I don't even see a pattern. Yeah, we'll just do the regular one. Until the... Picture on the left disappears. Please check your max minimum brightness settings. If the picture on the left won't disappear. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much gone, right? Uh, Renet is completely free service that gives you a deeper look into the Resident Evil universe and your play data game. I guess we could, yeah, whatever. I'll be sent whenever you save it to a slave slot. Okay. Oh yeah, and we got like a bunch of costumes. Cause we got that pre-order. <laughs> uh, noir costume, deluxe weapons. Can now change the game's music and sound effects. A new game mode has been added. Extra modes. Okay. So, oh man, I'm pretty excited, but pretty scared at the same time. Uh, I know this game is harder than like, uh, what is it, The Last of Us, in terms of that the zombies don't die with like headshots, without like certain equipment. Um, as far as, so yeah, I heard that it's two different stories. One is Leon S. Kennedy and the other is Claire Redfield. Um, as far as that goes, we'll just go ahead and do Leon's first and Claire's second. Um, costumes and stuff, I'll change that later. We'll just do with the regular stuff for now. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Not ready for this. Damn you, Jason. <laughs> Let's get to it. Leon S. Kennedy. After a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unbeknownst to him, a nightmare awaits. Yeah, so as far as I know of the Resident Evil story, it's like some bio virus released by uh, this company called the Umbrella Company or something like that. Um, select a game mode. This normal gameplay mode for players who are unfit. Assisted is for players who are unfamiliar with action games. There's aim assists, recover a certain amount of health automatically. Enemies are a little weaker. Now let's just do regular mode. Definitely not hardcore. <laughs> Standard. Serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. And this woman wow, those graphics. Was me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, oh, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to pieces. Oh, come on. Just getting good. All shaky and shit. This is zombies. 
I need some sleep. Yeah, and a s Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that's gross. Yeah, on a side note, I don't know how truck drivers do it. I'd just be like knocking out the whole time. Zombie, bro. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Yeah, on the other hand, being stuck out there like that. That's the worst thing that could happen. He's got no one to watch your back, you know? <laughs> you would think that's a human. And you would just turn your back like, you know, calling 911 freaking out. And she got you. Dude, Capcom's been killing it lately, though. I releasing so Hold many around. great games. Oh, uh, something's fishy. That's weird. <sighs> Man, I'm already getting tight butthole. Here we go. That's blood, baby! Oh, we're gonna get into it right away? Oh, shit, alright. Explore your surroundings. No! <laughs> I don't want to. Dude, if, can we get like guns from the police car and shit? Is this a cop? Yeah, it's a cop car. I guess not. Run is L3. I'm pushing L3. Oh, okay, I see. It's not really running, that's more like a very light jog. <laughs> like, yeah, there's zombies chasing me, but you know, I, uh, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I ain't got no time to run. Pretty boy. Something's not right. You're telling me. Investigate the store. I should have definitely adjusted the darkness settings to be a little bit brighter. I'm kind of dumb. Ah, fuck! I can hear them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said in Bloodborne, don't fucking wear headphones when you play scary games. Cause you just don't fucking know where the fuck these monsters are. They're in here. I can hear them to the right. Jesus! Dude, look at this shit. This looks terrifying. Man. Oh. You all right? Don't get. Don't, don't get up. I'll be back for you. No, I won't. <laughs> I <laughs> know, dude, seriously. Point your fucking gun at him. Oh, he's not gonna do anything else? Okay, so I guess we have to. Can we go this way? Oh, fuck, don't touch me. No, no, I have to go to the right. Yeah. <gasps> Yada! Oh, actually, let me. Let me try this door. Run. Dude, this is running. Look. Look how slow that is. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I don't see anything in that room, but. Yeah, so we have to go around. Shit. I hope there's no zombies chasing me. So this is what it looks like behind this thing, huh? Oh god. I can hear it. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. No, you don't. No. No. All your survival instincts are like, bounce. Get the fuck out now. That's a zombie, motherfucker. I'll shoot. Draw fire. Son of a bitch. 
Shit. Shit. Is all y'all have to say, Leon? This thing didn't die by a headshot. I'll be like, what the? Oh, it's going back? Elicious. Hey, buddy. Over here. Oh, come on, bro. Die already, man. You done? What the? You done? Please? <laughs> Jesus, that was like how many shots? Don't fucking move, sir. Stop resisting arrest, punk! <laughs> Fuck, don't move! <sighs> this guy's dead, huh? He's gonna turn double tap? Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> wasted a bullet. Great. Can we get some items here? Oh, we can exit here, okay. Let me just look for some items real quick. I always gotta do that bullshit, sorry. Items, 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 items. Come on, give me some ammo or something. Give me something usable. Aha! Uh -huh. A key. Dude, this is like a murder mystery game, too. That's really interesting how it's like that. A well-worn key. Well, thank you. What about this one? Oh, what? Open inventory. Oh, so they give you like a heart monitor. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Matilda. Did we name our handgun? 12 shot capacity, 9mm polymer frame handgun, non standard issue gun with problems that make it impractical for the general public. Well, gee, Leon, why do you have such a fucking shitty gun, bro? Thanks. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this place. You're giving me the hibba dibba jibs. Let me out! Oh, that's what the key's for? We can just go around, can we? When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then... The what command? Oh, use command. Okay. Interesting. That's really cool. Really cool. Well played, Capcom. Oh, 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 oh. No. What the hell? Slow down, buddy. Slow down, buddy. Fuck you too, buddy. <gasps> Let me out. Let me out. No! No! No more. No, 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 no. Just run, fool. Oh, it's Claire. Don't shoot. Get down. Behind you. Oof. You all right? Damn. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Indeed. Get the fuck out of here. It's your heart pump, Hold on, dude. Go, 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 go. Damn, Leon. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. She's Wait, like, boy, you escaped yeah. real Leon good. Kennedy. That you makes want? me moist. <laughs> Redfield. And you, what do you do? What's your profession? Here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Oh. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Umbrella. Those are the bastards. Capcom presents. One of the most scariest games of our generation. Nah, actually, I heard uh, that new Silent Hill game is pretty crazy. Yeah, you can always rely on the Japanese though to make some sick ass games, yo. Another shit. I mean. I don't know, I think the graphics are even better than Monster Hunter World. I mean, it makes sense, it came out like way after. Jeez. 
Or did it come out way after? I forget. Anyways. There's so many zombies. Yeah, so this is also like The Last of Us. We're gonna have to like conserve ammo, whatever, you know, like make sure that we're not just wasting Attention resources. All citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Optimist and the pessimist, man. And then there's the realist. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's just like zombies, and there's me. They get in my way, like they gonna die. From here. Damn, they're everywhere. I mean, it's a city. I would have thought there would be like swarms of them. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Oh, my God. You gotta back up. Do it, boy. Do it. What the? There's people in this car, sir. Slow down. <laughs> oh, he's injured. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Get out! Good. Wow. What a thriller. Hold on! Oh, shit. Really bad, dude. That whiplash. That'll stay with you. <laughs> Damn, he's got some nice shoes, though. Damn, Daniel. Whoa. Back at it again with the nice fans. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Oh, shit. Just a flesh wound. Ah. Keep moving. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Oh, I guess that's where they separate, yeah. huh? Oh. I'm alright! How about you? I thought she was already gone. <laughs> like, peace. Yeah, <laughs> stay here, it's not safe! Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! I'll be there! Don't tell me we're in a plate right now. Get to the this is out station. of control. Do we have a minimap? <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, thank you. At least The Last of Us was like, you know, other people with you, other survivors. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, fuck my man. That's just fucking fantastic, isn't it? Let's go down this alley. Yeah. Shit. No, thank you. Stay down. Stay there. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. There it is. The station. Keep going, boy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy. Zombies. I love zombies. I love all of them. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Absolutely terrifying. I know we have to go that way, but I'm just, I mean, like the other way, but uh, I'm just checking. Uh, you never know what you might find, you know? Trophy urn. Welcome to the city of the dead, I assume. That's cut off. Alright, there's no items, so let's go ahead and enter. Oh, it's nice in here. I mean, I've never been to many police stations, but this is nice. Can I put my gun away? Whereas, like, we're always just holding on to it like that. 
Hello? Is anybody here? Keep out. Uh, can I close that real quick? No? Okay, that's cool. I hope nothing crawls through there. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So let's check out. Let's check out this building and check around for items and such. And then, uh, I guess if there's no other way um, out, then we go back here and crawl under that shit. This one's all taped up. X. I guess we need to find scissors or something first. Hmm. Uh, look at all these uh, blueprints covered in blood. That's a nice touch. Very nice touch. Uh, any items? Yeah, like I said, I never played any of these, so I don't know how it works. But it looks like I'm right. It's like just a bunch of shit lying around. So if it's because I've played like you know kind of like puzzle and like murder mystery games, and they're kind of like this. So, anyway, oh, this is your safe slate. Oh, interesting. Okay. Handgun ammo times five. Nine millimeter parabellum handgun bullets. The most common of bullets. They are favored for their stable flight trajectory and moderate recoil. So I guess that's for Matilda. No. Oops, costumes have been added. Uh, is this for this? No. Nine millimeter. Oh, it's twelve. No, no, no. Nine millimeter. Yeah, as you can see, I know nothing about guns. <laughs> Oh, our orientation letter, Officer Leon S. Kennedy. On behalf of the RPD, congratulations on coming to this fucked up town. <laughs> this fucked up neighborhood. Completing your training, your especially high marks are to be commended, and we couldn't be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report for orientation at the Raccoon City Police Station on Friday, September 25th at 8 a.m. We look forward to serving with you, Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. Irons, what a great police chief name, you guys. Making use of the map, so we do have a map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location surroundings. It can be also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. Interesting. So I guess that's good if you know you kind of find something but you kind of didn't really notice it. Typewriter. Oh, okay, cool. Item box. Sick. These are like exits and stuff. Tape box. Yeah, this is pretty cool, dude. Cool game. What's this? Oh, yeah, there baby. Someone here. Headshots, you fool. Not good. David, Marvin. You there? I found a way out. It's in here. Headshots, fool. Oh, he's done. Send reinforcements. East hallway. Main hall. Oh, to that side. Just find that guy. Well, I'm sure glad there ain't no time limit on that, because let me tell you, I ain't gonna rush to his aid. <laughs> okay, wow, so that expended our map. Sick. Watchman's room is where we're trying to go, it looks like. I like this, uh, like, layout of this map. I've never played a game that has stuff like this. This is interesting. Observation room, interrogation room. Okay, item box. Deluxe weapons added. Hey, Oh, the samurai is right. So this is what I get for the pre-order. Take out. Now we have it. Beautiful. Change weapons. Ooh. Reload. Hey. So that was, yeah, the 9mm. 15 shot capacity 9mm handgun. Based on the design by Albert Wesker himself, this gun has been customized for robust performance. Cool. Move this over here. Actually, move this over here. Um, do, 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 do. 
Okay, no other items. Let's run up this way. I'm gonna explore this whole area before we go try to help that guy. And for those of you who think I'm cold hearted, I don't know that guy. I don't know anybody in Raccoon City for that matter. Matilda. Okay, so we don't have anything. I'm assuming you're supposed to put three round keys in that slot or something. Okay. <laughs> Gas station key. Definitely should work at the police station, right? Bollocks. Leon, you're panting already, bro. What kind of cop are you, man? Over here. Damn, everything's locked, dude. Are you sure from software did I make this game? Holy shit. <laughs> that is not open from this side. Ooh, yes. Confirm. Yo, the Samurai Edge gun looks sick, though, man. Let me tell you. Alright, so nothing on the left. Everything's locked. I'm assuming we're going to find keys for all these doors later. Oh, that ladder, like, shook as I walked by it. What the f What kind of fucking police station has stuff like this, man? Don't lie to me. Uh, I don't know what any of this pertains to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we'll figure that out later. Okay, and doesn't look like there's anything over here. I'm getting uh, really hard um, research hall vibes from Bloodborne. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. Really expect to find some like huge-headed people. What kind of drinks are these? Aria. Guess they couldn't get the copyright for Coca-Cola, huh? Green herbs! hey, We always need green herbs! <laughs> Native to the Arkley Mountains. It will restore a small amount of health. Ay! <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Ooh, a safe! You know there's gonna be some good shit in there. Wow, and you guys to actually, like, click it? Okay, so, uh, there was, like, this old school titanic game i used to play on my old pc as a kid um shit what was that like two, 19 like 99 2000s area but uh that game reminds me of or this game reminds me of that game okay so obviously we don't know the combo let's go ahead and pick this paper up guide pamphlet Welcome to Raccoon City! Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. And this guide will introduce you to just a few more of unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. Okay, so I guess that's the next area we'll go to after the police station. And do we want to go through here? It's locked. Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? What's a hell, Harry? Alright, Leon, hop down. <laughs> Don't worry about your ankles, bro. Damn, too bad it takes forever to lightly jog around places. Okay. So, like I said before, the only way to go is that way. Alright, so I'm gonna save real quick, and then we'll see about saving uh, that fucking noob ass police officer. Oh, that's sick, it's a typewriter. <laughs> Ooh, 
moving on. Oh, that's gross. Just the brightness endings. <laughs> Cause I think we kinda wanna be able to see stuff in the dark. I don't know if it's gonna be brighter on the computer screen, but on on this screen that I'm looking at, if it's in the dark, I can't fucking see it. Like I <laughs> Like I can barely make out some some like basic shapes, but that's about it. Alright. Let's see here. Okay, so I guess we'll need another, um, like, what is that cylinder key on the left? We'll need one more. Fuck. Is there anything that's gonna help me on this whiteboard? No? Door's locked. Of course it is. Why is it all fucking flooded over here? Can we see anything through these windows? Fuck that shit. What? What the fuck was that? I don't like this. Not one bit. Why am I playing this game? My anxiety is shooting through the roof. You got <laughs> Thank you, Leon. I needed that pep talk. I think they knew the players would be tripping out. Oh yeah, just like some homeless man's fucking shoes in the middle of the hallway, huh? I mean, that kind of makes you think, though, like, how long has this infection been going on? Toilet paper everywhere. I'm real quick. I'm just gonna check if I can go this way. Oh, we can crawl through there. Okay, so let's grab this first. Fuck. Something's red, so I'm assuming we can't go over there. Someone's recording something. Man, this clutter. They did a good job with that interior design. Okay. Oh! The lights! Uh oh, I didn't even notice that fucking body on the ground. Oh, he had more ammo. Okay, cool. I see. So you combine shit. Interesting. Uh, I guess. Oh, this is the recording room. Look at all that dust particles, dude. This is insane. I don't know if they have this game for VR, but if I was playing VR, I would legit shit my pants. Health and recovery items. As you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first aid spray before it's too late. Roger that. Damn. I'm um, sorry, I opened this because I wanted to figure out where I was. We are in the press room. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so anywhere blue, I guess, you've explored. We still need to go over here and over here. Um, I think those were locked, though. We need to go down. Cheat and some crackers. Whoa! Fuck, it's dark out here. Oh, hold. I was like, come on, Leon. Can't fucking lift that shit. There we go. Number one cop, dude. I told you. My resume is good. Officer Irons. You can always trust me to lift these cabinets. The men's is fucking blocked off, dude. Damn. Someone pooped a major duke in there. Hello, ladies. It's gonna be a fucking girl zombie in here. I know it. Come out with your pants on. 
It's too bad they don't include a kick door open button. Whew. Whew. Okay, we're good. Oof, scared me. First aid spray. Sick. The last thing I need is a fucking shit covered zombie trying to eat me alive. Any items? I guess that's it. Damn, it's fucking dark. Alright, where where were we going again? Where did we come from? We came from that way. I wonder if you could like open cabinets too. No, it doesn't look like. Hydrant. Oh look, there's like bullet holes in the wall. Niggas missing their shots, yo. Jeez. There's corpses everywhere. Jesus. <laughs> Stop copying me, Leon. Don't fucking move a muscle. Oh shit, it's like chained up. What what would you need for these? Like bolt cutters? The fuck? Open up! Hurry! Open uh, up! I think I'll take my time. Open this goddamn door! Yo, you better ask me nicely, fam. Fucking What? I'll get you out! Please! Give me your hand. Give me your I fucking hand, dude. Hurry up. Give me your other hand. Just go oh, over me. Oh my. See, but the way that that happens, you don't expect it to be like a normal zombie, dude. Like, what the fuck? Did you see how fast they went through him? <laughs> I would have expected like a tank or something. That's visceral. Officer's notebook, flip pages. Wow, officer, you're so good at drawing. Goddess statue. Three medallions is what we need. Oh, and then you can go downstairs. Underneath, you take an elevator down to what? He doesn't know. I'm assuming the sewers, or maybe like a train station. Parking, climb back up to parking, and that's the way out. Okay. And the uh, the cop, the digits thing, it's all been smeared. I can't really make it out. Oh, no, wait, here it is. Oh, it was like bleeding through. To the wow, look at that, dude. Do you think someone probably actually, like they hired like an artist to draw this? Kind of looks like girls' handwriting, just to be honest, but... Uh, <laughs> Like, someone probably actually drew this and they just, like, took a photo of the sketchbook, maybe? Because that's cool. I love that, like, bleeding through effect. Sorry, I'm an artist, so it's like... <laughs> it's just, this is more interesting to me than the zombie shit, dude. Look at that, dude. Nice. Nice drawings. Okay, so we got the symbols here. So we'll just have to uh, open this up. Set the bad boy up later. <clears throat> I'm surprised they don't turn. Which is great. Great. I mean, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want all these dead, dead people to turn quickly. So, what's our next? Oh, buddy. Oh, oh. oh no, he got us. Get back up, officer, and I will murk you. Officer resisting arrest. He's not really getting back up, so he's not really a danger to me anymore. Let's check our health. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> I don't want to waste any more bullets on that guy. That's fine. Fuck. Zombies are like, oh no. Can we just bounce? Jesus! 
They're everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> Buddy, I don't even remember what choice the right way to go. <laughs> if we're being quite honest. Wow, I'm surprised they didn't kill me. I really thought I was gonna die there. God damn it! Watch out! Yeah. You're safe. <laughs> now. Black man always knows how to survive, dude. <laughs> Marvin Brown. Leon Kenny. <clears throat> there was another off strike I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> Thanks, brother. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Is that my commanding officer? <laughs> Does anyone know what started this? It couldn't be Chief yeah. Irons, could it? But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Dude, he put his bloody fingerprints all over it. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Yeah, he's a I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. Understood. <laughs> I'm coming with you, but I just slow you down. Now, you'll need this heavy machine gun. Can't take Stop. Them. What is it, a lightsaber? And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Damn, the graphics are insanely good, dude. Or you run. Got it? Got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Double tap him now while you got the chance, Leon. I'll give you a warrior's death. Combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. Oh. So... Okay, so it's the same thing as The Last of Us. It's a shiv. L1 ready, R2 to slash. Oh, you can slash with this one, huh? <laughs> can be used to counterattack. Damn, what the fuck? We're playing Sekiro again? L1 when you are caught by an enemy, yo. And can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Interesting. So I guess you, like, shove it in their throat or something. Just to, like, get them away from you. And then you have to, like, shoot them. And then retrieve it. That sounds like a pain in the ass, dude. Why you gotta make it so realistic? L1 R ready sub weapon. Aha! L1 is sub weapon. That's sick, dude. That's pretty cool. That's neat. Can't talk to him no more. We still don't have those medallions. Okay, first order of business. Um, since we're all updated now, let me, uh, let's check this, pretty sure there's nothing new, but, uh, or maybe we can store weapons in here, huh? Like, for instance, I'm sure we don't need this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Combat knife, first aid, yeah, and we'll need the rest of this. Cool. Alright, since we're all updated, let's go ahead and save one more time. Okay, so let's see if, um, since I'm not really we're sure, like, where to go, but, uh, we can at least try out this puzzle. Okay, so this is the lion. The lion is a lion 
a branch and a burb. A lion, a branch, and a bird. Aha! Nice. Oh, what the f we didn't grab it. Oh, we gotta place it in your inventory. That's annoying. Just give it to me! Okay. Dude, this guy's just sitting here all fucked up. I don't know when he's gonna turn into a zombie. It's kinda sketch. Whoa! So Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. Okay. What well, now? Are you gonna help me out more, bro? You got more keys? Something? All these fucking doors are locked, man. You're gonna help me out somehow. Shit. Um, oops. What's, uh. Oh, squares reload. So we're at max. Damn, I keep pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Okay, and this is, I'm assuming, Parabellum is all for this one. I mean, I'm assuming this is a better gun than this anyway, so. Uh, I'm lost. Oh, we can probably shred this with a knife. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Not how I imagine my first day. <laughs> first day jitters. Ammo. Interesting. Got more herbs. Oh, we got the good shit, yo. Got that fucking OG GG Kush. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, we got a trophy for that. The basics of survival. Sick. The fuck was this? Vladimir Putin. Raccoon City. In honor of those who have served. Okay. So there's two separate rooms now. Uh, we're over here. I guess we'll find out what those lead to, huh? Dark. Fuck, this game's so fucking spooky. This is just the hallway. Okay. Fuck's sake, man. Is there a door to my left? What's that thumping sound? Why don't they ever double tap? Jeez. Oh my... Huh? What? 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 Huh? How? How can I... <sighs> okay, so the other thing is, I know about Mr. X, and that shit fucking terrifies me, so I, honestly, if I see Mr. X, I'm just gonna die. Like, I give up. I fucking swear if these guys, like, fall down and try to attack me, dude. I fucking swear, dude. Why the dingle bop is everything locked, man? Alright, 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 alright. Telling you, dude. Anxiety inducing. Oh, just a long, spooky corridor. Yeah, no problem. There's a door over there, okay. We could also go outside, I saw that. 
You know what? Oh no, wait. There's another one right here. Oh, you have to like break the iron. Wait, what? I don't understand. We need an item for an open window. Does that make sense to you guys? Because it doesn't make sense to me. I'll have to ask, ask my friend about this later. Another window. We're just kind of... Uh, Alright, anyways. <laughs> oh, that scared the dickens out of me, bruv. I guess if you bump into it, it just fucking falls down. Bro, scared me. Hi. Sorry. I don't have the keys. Can't let you in. Oh my. You stupid hoe. I said don't come in. Dumb bitch. Don't come in through there, I swear to god. We're gonna have issues. Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here, David Ford. Let me tell you, David Ford, you ain't wrong. Fuck you. You stupid hoe, I told you not to fucking come in here. Why don't you fucking listen, huh? This is why we're gonna have issues. You dumbass hoe. Stay down. God, dude. Simple instructions. Do not follow me into the room. <laughs> oh, police station first floor map. Oh, sick. So it just, it opened everything. Okay, beautiful. We're in the operations room. We can go into this hallway. There's a safety deposit room. We still need to get into the records room, but we need a key for that. Okay, so in the meantime, I guess we need to make our way towards either the safety deposit room or the west office. There's also a room right here, which I should check. Uh, bolt cutters. Oh, we can go up. Are there any other materials we can use in here? And the home of the brave. Come on. Of course, it's locked. Where does this lead to, though? Oh. Ooh. Yes, sir. Well, I like how when you're against the wall, the flashlight's like nothing. I mean, that makes sense, but... It's just cool how far we've come in gaming, you know? Don't move your fat fucking ass, man. Just stay right there. Safety deposit room. Anybody in here? If you're in here, let me know now. Okay, we're good. 208. Whose locker is this? Wait, what? Oh, we need a card to open it or something? Fuck's sake, man. Just let me have some fun. Weapons locker. Okay, so that's definitely something we need. 
Okay, we need some sort of permission card. Probably gotta proceed further into the game. Yeah, these are all locked. Bro, it's locked. Stop. 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 Damn it. Son of a fucking bitch, dude. Got a trophy for that. Eat this! For the love of God, why are you guys so... Jeez. Boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. I don't know. What are... Oh, we need to go pick up some buttons too, dude. Honestly. Okay, let me see if I can open one of these ones. 102. Off, oh, of course. Uh, we don't have two and three, so we can't open that one. We can't open that one. We can open a 106. 106. Nice. Roll film for photos. Commemorate. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll need that later. One oh nine. We can. Op what the fuck, bro? God. Are you? Okay, it's something like it's not gonna die. Two oh eight. Two oh three. Two oh eight, two oh three, one oh nine. Yeah, no, boy. I guess this guy's just always gonna be in here, so it's like, oh yeah, man, you can get all this stuff, it's just gonna be a pain in the ass, you know? Alright, well, we got that. Can't open to anything with number two on it, so all of these are still gonna be locked. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some goddamn spare keys and fix this right fucking now. I agree with you, bro. You know who you are, bastard. Who else will fuck, up and fuck it up this badly? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Maybe I can lure him out here? Oh, no, he's just gonna stay in there. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. Jeez, I'm pro. Freaky deaky. Alright, I'm kinda lost. Hold on. Uh, that room. So I'm assuming once you unlock this records room, you can go through here and enter here too, so. We won't worry about this. What's this? Oh, that's nothing. Reception and the West Office directly to my left. This one. Just at our time limit here, so I'm gonna stop the video for today. Uh, the game itself is pretty cool. I like the puzzles and whatnot, but the fact that the zombies don't die to headshots is really, really frustrating. <laughs> uh, so the next episode we'll be exploring the West Wing here and uh, checking out what other kind of clues and um, goodies we can pick up. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys for part two. Peace.